Namaste guys, Ashish here for WPX Box and I'm going to show you how to install Android apps on Windows 10 Mobile. This is working only for preview mode. Now you need to first enable developer mode on your Windows 10 Mobile that you can go to settings, update and recovery and enable it. Also make sure your device is actually available for discovery because when you connect to your PC over Wi-Fi or USB, you will need the pair code. So when you hit the pair button there, you get a pair code that you need to input in the command prompt uh, using the tool which we will just show you next. So remember this part, you will need it. So now let's uh, switch to the command tools over there. We have two command tools. This is the first one which we can download uh, by using the link below. This is basically a project story I'm guessing which allows you to do that. So there is a W connect tool over there. Before that you have IP over USB install and a visual uh, C++ runtime files. You need to install both of them. So once you do that, your system is all ready. Now next thing you will need to check is for the ADB tool. So it should be in program files, Android, Android SDK platform tool. So this is ADB available there. Now you can see already have a couple of APKs which I have downloaded. I'll suggest if you want to download something, find out. Next, launch command prompt, but run it as administrator. You might need some privilege probably. I'm just making it on a safer side. So now done that, we'll use, uh, we'll first go to the tools folder which you have downloaded. So CD, copy paste, go there and run wconnect.exe USB. When you do that, it will try to figure out where your phone is, if it's connected over USB and then it will make create a session and stuff like that so that it can deploy the APK files there. And right after this, you will be asked for a pair code. So I showed you in the previous video where the pair code is. So use that and then connect to your device. Now, in case if it gets an error, something like this, uh, since I was running this tool previously, so of course this was a problem. So I'm going to just go to task manager and close up. So in case you get any error of these kind in deploying for the next time, you can just go to your task manager, find W connect.exe and just end task and it will be all gone so now we'll just try it again and it should create session and connect and it'll ask for the pair code so use that so this is connected so you can see you have emulated number also there in case you need it so once done, you need to now go and connect using the ADB tool. Now the emulator number is sometimes necessary if you have multiple devices, so you can deploy it based on emulator number as well. So now let's switch to the ADB tool. So we'll again need to copy paste the path and change directory and go there. All right, so now we are in this tool. Now we're going to type ADB install and the APK name. So just hit enter and it'll start deploying. So making sure the connection and all is there and you should see it right on your recently added app list on your Windows phone or Windows mobile, whatever you want to call it right now. So that's the message you will get and right after that uh, deployed successfully a message like that and it will be all done. So I have installed like three apps for this. No, not three. I have installed actually four apps here. Uh, there is a Slack, then, is a, then there is a Snapchat app and the other things. Now it's possible that not all apps will work, especially those who are working with the Google Play services. So all these apps will not work and might get a, give an error or you can just quit it and it works out. For example, the Slack app worked really well and all the conversations was going on. So, yep, that's the only condition that you need to be careful now. So now let's switch to the uh, phone view now where I will show you the apps installed basically. So these are the four apps which are basically Android apps which I have installed. 
so you have got slack and there's a launcher casper and side explorer so this is a slack app which i have uh, which actually needs google play services but i was able to say okay and it didn't bother me later on so you can access settings you can do conversation and everything just works incredibly nice so that is my profile on slack and then i will show you the other apps as well so you have casper here so now casper is a snapchat app which asked me to log in but when i actually log in it will ask me to connect to google services so i had left it right there so that is there and there are two more apps which really didn't work that nice but because of the google play services this will crash actually so this is the kind of loading you will see it actually loads in an android environment where it supports all those android files and system files and etc so guys that was the video that was about deploying the apk files on windows and mobile this is how developers will do it and for now you might want to try it out and do it on your own so guys thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for a video like this thanks